Okay, this is going to be a short one. We're going to install Nerd Funds and explain what they are. We already installed Nerd Funds in video number three, so you don't need to do this. But in case that you don't have them installed and would like to install them, you can follow along. We're going to install them using Brew. So if you don't have Brew installed, go and check video number two and then come back to this video. So what are Nerd Funds? They're just a collection of symbols that many different applications use. I'm going to uninstall them so you can see what it looks like without the fonts and we will then install them. You don't need to do this, it's just so you can see what the difference is. Okay, so I uninstalled the font. Now you're going to be able to see the difference. Let me go to this directory. Let me close the terminal. Open it again. And it gives me a warning here that the fonts are not installed. And if you see in this directory, the symbols are not showing properly. Let me open NeoVim as well. Notice here on the left side, the fonts are not there. Fonts are not here either. So I'm going to install the fonts again. Here are the commands. I'm going to close the terminal and open it again. As you can see, we have the symbols now. They do show up properly. If I open NeoVim. The symbols do show up properly. This is another app that we installed in video number three. It's font config. You can use it to see if you have fonts installed or not. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so as you can see here, we do have these fonts installed. You want to grab specifically for this name. There they are. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one related to macOS key repeat rate.